Hello everyone and welcome back to another slightly different video this time because I want you to tell me what you think instead of me giving you a solution. So this video is about the response action in Power Automate, specifically when working with Power Apps. This action is marked as a premium action and so a lot of people avoid using it despite it being more powerful and in some ways easier to use. So I'm going to show you what I think that it doesn't require any premium licensing and then you can tell me if I'm wrong. So let's get into it. Okay, so here I am in Power Apps in a tenant which has got no premium licenses. I'm logged in as a user with no premium licenses. So I am going to create a new flow and I'm going to create it from blank and I'm going to call it get cheese. And I'm going to add a new action, which is response. And you can see there that it does say it's premium. And um, for the body of the content, I am going to put in this JSON array of cheeses. And then I am going to generate the JSON schema from there and just save it. And then on this button, I will do clear collect of cheese and then uh, get cheese dot run and that's it so I'll click on there and then I need to change that data table so that the call cheese I think I called it there so you can see that that returns it and that's pretty much what you'd expect so if I save this app and now I'm going to publish it Okay, so now if we look at the details of this app, you can see that it says license designation standard. If I go now edit this app, and I will modify this Power Automate flow, and I'm going to add in a get rows from Dataverse. And I'll just choose that table. Okay, if I now save this again and publish it, and now go back again, and then refresh this, my license designation is now premium. So adding in that premium action to get data from Dataverse makes it premium. And then if I remove that, it goes back to standard again. So I think you can use the response action without worrying about it being a premium action, but I don't know for sure, you tell me. So if you're a licensing expert or you know someone who is, let me know if you think that standard action should really be premium or, and it seems reasonable to me, all we're doing is returning a response to Power Apps, that it is actually standard. Or is it only premium when you're using it to return data from the when a HTTP request is received in flow? So let me know what you think. I much prefer the response action to the respond action because you can do a lot more with it. Um, but is it standard or is it premium? I don't know. You tell me. See you in the next video. Bye bye.